Hey guys, I hope that you are doing awesome today. My name is Boom Shikha and I'll be doing a few videos over the next few weeks about the fact that I'm moving to Chiang Mai and about my digital nomadic journey. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I know a lot of you are major travelers, you love to travel and you want to build a business that's you know based around travel or allows you to travel for a sustained period of time basically as a digital nomad. And so I totally empathize with you. I'm exactly the same. I love to travel. I love to see new places, explore new countries, new cultures, new foods, meet new people, and all that. All of that stuff that travel entails. And I'm a nomad at heart. I think I was a gypsy in a past life because I love to move around. I, as soon as I have to stay in one place for a, sustain, a long period of time, maybe two years or three years, I get really restless and I... I feel like I'm missing out because I want to see the world and there is a limited amount of time that we all have on this planet and I want to make sure that I use that limited amount of time to see the places that I want to see. And so what I'm doing in order to kind of make part of my dream come true is I am going to move to Chiang Mai for six months in the month of October. So I'm moving there October 1st to March 31st. Uh, October 1st, 2016 to March, 30, March 31st, 2017. And I'm going to be documenting my journey for you so you can kind of see all of it. You know, Not only just the good parts of cool, I get to travel and I get to see a new place and eat new foods, but also the, the maybe the bad parts, you know, the loneliness, the isolation, um, missing my family, missing my, my city, Toronto, missing my condo, missing my space, whatever it might be, right? Because... Um, everything has good and bad associated with it. It's not just all good or all bad. And I want to show that to you so that you're able to see that maybe, you know, uh, the fact that you want to be a digital nomad is not actually what you actually really want. A lot of us, we think that we want something and then we actually get it and realize, oh my God, I've been waiting for so long to get to this point. And all of a sudden when I receive it, I realize it's not what I really want. And so that's the reason I always recommend to people who tell me that they want to travel long term is that you have to try it out first. Especially if you have a partner, you have to try it out with them first. Because so as soon as you do it, as soon as you travel, there's so much mental and physical exhaustion that's associated with it. It's actually extremely tiring and extremely degrading because there's so much stuff that you have to deal with on a daily basis. And that's the reason people start, start you know, living in one space, one, one spot, because it is so much easier than moving around all the time. Our ancestors, a lot of them used to move around a lot, but then they decided to stick to one spot, and that is when progress really began. And there's a reason for it, because when you're moving around all the time, it's extremely hard to create a routine, and human beings need routines in order to create, in order to be creative, in order to create, uh, in order to write, in, in order to do whatever they're doing in order to be an entrepreneur. And that's the reason I'm not moving around for these six months. I'm going to be sticking to one place, Chiang Mai, for those six months. I'm going to find an apartment. I'm going to stay in the apartment. And I'm going to live in the apartment. Uh, I'm going to obviously meet a lot of different digital nomads in Chiang Mai. There's a big community there. I'm going to be doing a lot of meetups. I'm going to be hopefully learning a lot from these individuals um, and about spirituality, abundance, about online business, about all that stuff. And so I'm hoping to make a... A lot of progress in this time because being in Toronto and being in my apartment I love my apartment to death I love Toronto but there is a distinct culture in Toronto of nine to five you know every single person I know is either working nine to five or you know aspiring to work nine to five or working shift work so some kind of some kind of nine to five right and in Chiang Mai there is a distinct difference that most people are entrepreneurs. They're building their own online business uh, of some sort, maybe e-commerce or drop shipping or information products, whatever it might be. And so I want to be around that community. I want to be around that kind of thinking, that mental status, so that I can learn more from these people than I would learn from sitting in Toronto here. Also, obviously, there's the expense factor. Chiang Mai is five times cheaper than Toronto. Um, so I'd be saving money as well, which is great. And I'd be able to devote more of my income to my business rather than always scrounging for money every single month or worrying about my savings. And like I said, I want a little bit of a change. I've been in Toronto for the last 
two and a half years now. And it's time for a change. I feel like I need this change in order to change up the cobwebs in my mind and bring new ideas into my mind, bring new new things just in, in general. I think it'll kind of change things up for me. And I think it'll be really, really useful. So I hope that this kind of gives you a little bit of an intro to my digital nomading journey. I hope that you guys will follow me through this journey and we can chat more over the next few months about where I'm going to be staying, what I'm going to be doing, what kind of people I'm meeting, what kind of food I'm eating, and what am I learning from all of this. And I hope that this helps you kind of figure out maybe if you are interested in digital nomading, if you should be doing this or not. So again, I hope that you guys have an amazing day, an amazing weekend, wherever you are. My name is Boom Shekha, and I'll talk to you guys the next time around. Bye for now.